I was lying on the ground with her, and I couldn't help her. She was just laying there lifeless. Tonight, a witness recounts the horrifying moments when dogs attack a group of kids. That attack left one little boy dead and another girl fighting for her life. We're told the kids were just walking to their school bus when they were attacked, and police and animal control captured the dogs, and their owner is now in police custody. We have live team coverage tonight. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor spent the day learning more about the young victims, but we begin with Dieter Dukes, who's been walking through the emotional ordeal all day. I talked to several residents this morning. Uh, this happened early in the morning, that attack. And so many of these residents tell me they were home asleep. They described hearing the screams, the children's screams, at first thinking that the kids were playing. But they say that it just went on and on without ceasing. That's when they say they ran outside to a terrible scene, many of them grabbing bats and brooms and knives, trying to fend those dogs off. My next door neighbor, the little girl, lifeless body, just laying in the street. I see the dog steady pacing back and forth. Shavonde Clayton woke to terrifying screams. The little boy, my the little boy, he's in the backyard. No. I couldn't even recognize by the covered in blood. His neighbor's children viciously attacked, mauled by two dogs wandering the neighborhood. We came out, we saw the little child in the middle of the street, and they were saying they had been bit by dogs. Six-year-old Logan Bronce and five-year-old Sarai Sanders among a group of neighborhood school children using a cut through on Jasper Street when the dogs pounced Tuesday morning. I ran to the baby and I said, I looked down at her to see what I could do for her, and when I looked at her, I knew that there was nothing I could do. Logan was killed and Sarai critically injured before neighbors armed with bats, brooms, and knives managed to fend the dogs off. He was full of blood all over his chest and everything. He was, wasn't a good sight at all. How disturbing is this for you? They got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. One dog injured when he was shot by APD officers at a home on Thurgood Street. Both animals taken into custody by Fulton Animal Control. This is just so unfortunate. Many here recalled seeing the dogs roaming the neighborhood in the days leading up to the attack. The dog's owner, Cameron Tucker, arrested Tuesday morning. No one answered the door to his home on Chamaga Avenue Tuesday afternoon. The residents just blocks from the scene of the early morning attack. So heartbreaking. That was Fox 5's Dieter Dukes reporting. Tonight, the community has come together working to comfort the families of the two children. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor joining us now with that part of our story tonight. And Angelique, the families are understandably heartbroken. Tom, these families are having a really hard time. These attacks were so vicious and so unexpected. This is an extremely close-knit community, and you can see behind me where neighbors uh, have just gathered here at the candlelight vigil spot, uh, still remembering the little boy who died. I was standing in the yard, and I just heard some, I just heard kids screaming, Ma! help help so me I took out running I took out running down to the street Tamiko Williams was on her front porch watching her children and many others in the neighborhood as they headed to the bus stop Tuesday morning out of nowhere three vicious dogs attacked the children and mauled Williams great niece five-year-old Sarai Sanders and her neighbor six-year-old Logan Broads Logan did not survive the attack and he was hiding in the woods and the dogs caught him, and then, then there were two dogs ate him up. Like, all uh, this all gone. All of the children attended F.L. Stanton Elementary School, where grief counselors tried to console the children's classmates. Logan's grandparents from Walton County couldn't believe the sobering news. He's just an outgoing, lovable little angel. And we know right now that I'm that's where he's that's where he's at. Oh, he's a wonderful little boy. This doll tore us apart. There's an APD officer right here. Now, Atlanta police still have detectives here on the scene. They are still surveying the area and walking around the house. You can probably see them behind me here, still trying to piece together what happened here. Reporting live in Southwest Atlanta, Angelique Proctor. Fox right. Just unimaginable. Our hearts go out to those families and that community. Angelique, thanks. Now